Well, hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the pros and the cons of living in King George County. It's a great county, a lot of benefits, but as with anywhere, you have to know about the cons as well because it's not perfect for everyone, and that's important. So, we put out a new video every week all about living in Fredericksburg and around the Fredericksburg, the greater Fredericksburg area. If that is of interest to you, you should subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. I am Jeff. This is my business partner, Ruthie Buck. We are Virginia real estate agents. And as much as we like making these videos, we like even more helping you with your real estate needs. So if you have any questions about any of our videos about living, working, playing here in Fredericksburg or about real estate in general, call us, text us, send us an email and we will get right back to you. And without further ado, let's talk about the pros and the cons of living in King George County. Well, let's start with the positives first. So let's start with the pros. Um, well, when you're looking to move somewhere, one of the first things you think about is the affordability of housing. So let's think of, um, talk about some of the homes and the housing costs um, in King George. Yeah, so one of the great things about King George is the, the cost of housing like Ruthie is alluding to. So it is right on par with the Virginia average, which is really saying something in the northern part of the state because most of the places that you, you would choose to live in northern Virginia will be well above the Virginia average, well above the national average. Cost of homes in King George County is about 13% above the national average, which for again, for that, that this pocket of this region here is really, really good. The cost of living is about 5% above the national average, which again is great for our area. So if you're looking to come to this particular part of Virginia, King George is a great option when it comes mm -hmm. to talking about housing prices. Yeah, I'm always excited to show houses in King George because I know that, you know, your money goes a bit further there. Um, so people tend to be very happy when they see what they can get in King George. Yeah, and you've got some pretty nice uh, communities to live in too. Hopyard Farm is a very popular community right now. That's situated between you know, King George itself and Fredericksburg is a great, great location for people who may be working in Dahlgren, mm -hmm. but live a lot of their life in Fredericksburg. Hopyard Farms is a great location for that. And there's some others as well, but that's one that comes And by. actually, Hopyard Farms has probably one of the most beautiful clubhouses and largest, I think, that I've ever been. <laughs> and the community's right on the Rappahannock River. It's just, it's great. Yeah. So another pro to um, talk about is the low crime rate. Yeah, so no matter where you're going, one of the things that you should do is research crime and safety because that's, that should be a concern for, for everyone. If you don't know of any resources to go and look for for crime statistics and crime information, call or text us. We'll point you in the right direction for some particular resources. But in a nutshell, King George County has a low crime rate. It's lower than the national average on both violent crime and property time crime. It's a rural county, it's a very safe feeling county, and the statistics bear that out. So another one of the pros that we're gonna um, look at are this is our schools. Um, and especially if you're coming and you have school-aged children, then you wanna know something about the public schools as well. Yeah, so Ruthie and I counsel our buyers that you should always look at the quality of the schools, whether or not you have children that are gonna be in schools, because the better the school system, statistically, the higher the value the, the homes are going to have and the better they keep their value. So you want to buy in a good school district. That being said, King George County is actually one of the top rated counties uh, for public schools in the state of Virginia. So I think there are 92 county public school systems in Virginia and they are ranked 14th among them. So that's, the, they're, they're in basically the top 15% yeah, that's pretty good. of all the county public school systems in the state of Virginia. Not only is the school system the 14th, ranked 14th best in the state, but the county itself is also ranked as the 14th best county to live in in the state of Virginia. So it's a, and it's the 15th best county for families to live in. So it's a great county. It scores super high on all the, all the analytics you would use to determine where you want to live. But the school system, back to that, there are five public schools in King George County. Three of those five rank in the top 50% of all the schools in Virginia. And Virginia is ranked number four for the best public school education in all of America. So that's really saying something about the school yeah. system in King George County. So another pro is going to be the location of King George. Um, location is um, usually one of the top things that wins out when you're purchasing a home. And location is, it's a pro in this um, for King George County. Yeah, it's a pro in a lot of ways. 
So one of the points that we, we kind of like to point out here is you're just a little over an hour to D.C. because a lot of people who are going to live in our area are going to commute to Northern Virginia and D.C. So King George, you've got a little over an hour commute to D.C. on a good traffic day. And we all know that there are a lot of days that aren't good traffic days, but on a good traffic what? day, it's a, little, Here? it's a little over an hour. <laughs> um, you're less than a half hour from Fredericksburg. You're just about an hour from Richmond. So any of the places that you're probably going to work, and most people aren't going to work in King George County, but most of the places you're probably going to work, you're going to be roughly an hour or less to, uh, to commute. The benefit of that is bringing it back to our very first pro. You're buying a home in King George County. You're getting your house for a lot less money than you would spend on it closer to Northern Virginia, even closer to Richmond. So for that reason, it's definitely a pro. But there's an, another couple of reasons that it's a pro too as well. It's really perfectly situated for getting out of town. Basically, you can get to. It's a great location to hop on 17 and run down to Virginia Beach. You can go up to Solomon's Island in Maryland. I mean, King George County is basically right on the Maryland line, you know, at the, at the Potomac River there. Uh, or, of course, you know, going, going to Fredericksburg. So it's just a great location no matter how you look at it. So another pro would be, um, well, the workforce. And a lot of that workforce there is going to Dahlgren. I mean, Dahlgren, if you're going to be working in Dahlgren, King George is the absolute perfect place to live. Yeah, so having Dahlgren, the, the Naval Warfare, was a Naval Surface Warfare Center yes. there, is a huge, huge pro. Not just because of, of the, the jobs, which Ruthie pointed out, and it is, it's probably the biggest employer in King George County with a lot of military, a lot of civilian employees. But when you have that kind of employer that's drawing that kind of people to your county, it automatically is going to affect the rest of the economy. So if you look at King George County, it's, it's a rural county. Mm -hmm. And any growth, most of the growth that you're seeing is happening right at Dahlgren. That's because Dahlgren is there. You're getting things there, like you got a Walmart there and some restaurants, like Five Guys. Things like that are showing up fairly close to Dahlgren, and that's only happening because Dahlgren is there. So the fact that they have, we have Dahlgren in King George County is a huge pro, both both for the economy uh, and for bringing in services that the residents can benefit from. Let's talk about the um, recreation in um, King George. Just because you're um, a little further out from Fredericksburg, or you still have plenty of recreation in that area as well. Actually, that's a big pro, is the outdoor recreation. So again, if you look at a map of King George, King George County, it's bordered on the north by the Potomac River, on the south by the Rapp Rappahannock River, which are completely different animals, different mm -hmm. types of rivers, different recreational opportunities in, in both of them. But a lot of a lot of outdoor uh, recreational opportunity. You've got Caledon State Park, that's there. You've got the uh, Dahlgren Heritage Rail Trail, that by the way is currently still a private piece of property, but they let people hike, walk, and bike on that uh -oh, trail. They found you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> kind of incognito here. I think. They let people hike, bike, and, and walk on that trail. They just ask that you get a permit, which you can get online. There is currently an initiative to make that part of Caledon uh, State Park. It just hasn't happened yet, at least not to not to my understanding. That's a that's a really cool trail. I think it's I, don't know, I forget exactly now, maybe 15 miles or something. It's a big it's a big trail. But all of that to say, there is a lot of outdoor recreation mm -hmm. in King George. The rivers, the parks, the trails. And Great. several neighborhoods that kind of back to the rivers too, to where you can actually get to the rivers. Yeah. So if you're staying inside, it's because you want to. So um, another thing that some people may find as a pro, some people may find it as a con, is um, the, I guess King George itself is such a rural area. Yeah, so you, you're, you're in essentially Northern Virginia, and most people don't think of any part of that as being rural, but King George certainly is. You know, you're within 20, 30 minutes of Fredericksburg, but you're getting out into the country. And that, that, like Ruthie said, that is a pro and it's a con. It's a pro if you're someone like me. If you watched any of our videos, you know me at all. You know I, I hate hustle and bustle. I love outside. It's a great county for that. But the trade-off is <clears throat> anytime you are going somewhere that's more rural with a lower cost of living, you're giving up some conveniences of life. <clears throat> so there's going to be things that you want that you're going to have to drive to get to. 
and that's just the fact of life and living in a rural county no matter where that county mm -hmm. is it's just that's just the way it is so for some people this is going to be a huge pro it's a pro for me for some people it's going to be a con they want more vibrant life they want more nightlife and you're going to have to get outside of king george to get to that but it's one of the places too where you can find um if you if you don't want your neighbor on top of you there's lots of homes there and communities as well that actually have homes that are on land so that you're not right up on top of your neighbor. Yep, slower, slower pace of life, a little more peaceful. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And as far as like the drive, if somebody, I mean, wanting to come to Fredericksburg for either the nightlife or restaurant shopping, it's such an easy drive. So um, let's talk about our first con. And one of the first cons that comes to mind is the job situation in King George. Um, you have a little bit lesser amount of jobs in that area. Yeah, so while we talked about having Dahlgren there is a boom for the economy in King George because they are a major employer and the county itself is a major employer in the in the area that's almost it I mean you've got some some defense contractors and things like that 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 have jobs there but the bulk of the people who live in King George County don't work in King George County they have to commute somewhere else and that's just because there are a limited number of jobs that are right there at home in the county so they have to go to Northern Virginia Fredericksburg Maryland, Richmond, somewhere besides King George. And but there again, the commute, I mean, for King George is not horrible because there's just not as much traffic there. Yep, and we, as we talked about before, the upside is when you get home, you're getting a whole lot more house for your money or a whole, more, a whole lot more land for your money mm -hmm. than you are in some other places. So one of the cons that stands out for me and um, would be probably um, at the top of my list would probably be the lack of shopping and dining. Because <laughs> um, everybody knows I like to shop a little bit and I don't like to cook, so I like to dine out often as I can. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I think uh, we were, you were talking with your daughter about King George the other day and she was talking oh. about how everybody goes to Fredericksburg yes. from King George and that's pretty much true. <laughs> Uh, you, you've got you've got your staples. You know you have um, Food Lion and Walmart and things like that that are there, uh, and you have some restaurants like I said, it's building up a little bit out around King George. But it's pretty much just the basics that are out there. If you want anything serious, you've got to go somewhere else to to, to get to those things. Again, in fact, the life of a of a rural county is just the just the way it is. For some people, that's not a problem. For some people, that's a big big con. So although we say that um, you have a lesser traffic there, there are some months out of the year that traffic can be a little bit hectic, um, like the summer times um, over around 301. Yeah, so 301 is a major road. It's a major road that connects, you know, that goes through King George County and connects parts of Virginia to Maryland and, and other places. The, where, where it becomes a big problem is in the summertime, 95 becomes even more of a horrible event than it is the rest of the year. So a lot of people going north or coming south, knowing they're going to have to come through northern Virginia on 95, will choose instead to do that to get on 301. So on those busy times, all those people choosing to be on 301 makes 301 become mm -hmm. a kind of a beast itself. It's not most of the year, and it's usually not a long protracted event but it's one of those things that if you live there when it does happen it can be very frustrating so let's talk about <clears throat> another con which would be the health care in the area um, being that um, King George is um, a little further out it, you have limited health care there yeah like any other rural area rural rural, <laughs> rural. R, R -U -R -A -L, <laughs> any other country area uh, a less populated area, you might have a few like urgent care type facilities, which King George has. Um, but if you want a hospital, if you want any more specialized care, you're going to have to go somewhere else. Either Fredericksburg, like we talked about before, up in the up into Maryland. Most people are going to Fredericksburg or points in Northern Virginia. Just again, one of those things about you know having the less populated area, you just don't quite yet have the services that you might really need if mm -hmm. you're in a situation where you need specialized health care. All right, so that is our look at the pros and the cons of living in King George County. Like I said, overall, this is a great county to live in. Great cost of housing, great cost of living, great place for families, the school system's great, but you're going to give up some of the conveniences of life as a trade-off for you know the lower cost of housing, that little more slower pace of life. 
it's up to you whether you know whether it's the right fit for you or not in any event uh, again i'm jeff this is ruthie we are virginia real estate agents if you have any questions about living in king george county or anywhere in the greater fredericksburg area any questions about real estate in general give us a call shoot us a text send us an email and we will get right back to you we will be happy to help you we get those calls all the time and it's really a wonderful thing and with that we will see you in the next video